And thousands of people gathered across the country tonight for the Lights of Liberty vigil. An event that organizers say brings communities together to protest what they call inhumane conditions being endured by migrants. Stephen Moody joins us live from Forsyth Park with the latest on an event there. Yeah, I'm here in downtown Savannah, one of the three locations in our area where those vigils were held. They also held vigils in Statesboro and in Beaufort. And as you're about to see, all of them had the same message. Across the country Friday night, candlelight vigils were planned. These vigils also taking place in New York, Seattle, California, and many other places. This is what it looked like in Savannah all in an effort to put an end to the detention facilities holding thousands of adults and children. This is heartbreaking what these children are experiencing. These are inhumane conditions. No human child should be subjected to these conditions. Children are precious. They should not have to experience conditions where they don't have a bed to sleep on. They don't have toothbrushes. They don't have adequate supervision. Several people took the time to speak and to give their stories about how this situation has affected their families. People just go by whatever they hear on the news or whatever someone else, let's say they hear something from their neighbor, that's what they're going to be talking about. And they come to me with stories that are not correct. So this is a chance for us to tell them really what, you know, what's really going on. Many children tonight were holding lights. And I want people need to see firsthand, you know, children look the same. It doesn't matter if they're white, brown, black. Children have basic needs. Lights for Liberty is partnering with international, national, regional and local communities and organizations who are against those centers and the way people are being treated. Now, organizers say that if you want to get involved, call your local leaders and maybe volunteer for those organizations that I just mentioned. Reporting live tonight here in downtown Savannah, Stephen Moody, WJCL 22 News.